Jeff Chang says this in the, in the chapter, and, and Jeff Chang, as we know, who wrote, um, you know, who wrote the book that we've been, we've been reading some, some parts of. Uh, sampling is the kind of technology that really shifted the way that people consume and produce culture. So the consumers have become the producers. This is super important. And this has taken a lot of power away from the record companies. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like that aesthetic, that DJ aesthetic, where DJs started using records and turntables, means of consuming music, simply consuming, into productive means, you know, and then that extending to become, you know, different, maybe not easier, but more accessible um, through sampling technology really took power. So, so record labels wanted to not only make money off of people who were making money off of their music that they owned, um, they also wanted to, they want control. They want power over that. They want you to ask um, permission. So anytime that the industries are threatened with a loss of control, they do stuff. Usually sue uh, consumers or producers in some, in some form or, or fashion. But you know, digital sampling technology empowered people. And it's because they applied this DJ hip hop aesthetic you know, of analog sampling, you know, grabbing little bits and pieces and remixing them into an endless, endless loop, you know, um, was just very empowering to consumers. I mean, it's really hard for me to, to say to anybody what it feels like to be able to grab someone else's sound and do something with it and make something musical and something you love out of it and that other people love. It's just incredibly hard. It's hard to talk to, to someone who's like a musician, who straight up is a musician, meaning like write music, like they grew up trained to write and make music, you know, to get some of, the, some of those people to understand what it means for me to be able to take their whole life's work and beat the shit out of it and chop it up and flip it and make something else for another whole base of consumers. What that, what that, what that means, you know? As a form of empowerment. Until you've touched sound, it's hard to really understand that. Um, during this time period, this 87 through 92, you know, how did we judge creativity? It was based upon, you know, really your sample choices, what you chose for samples. Um, you know, it was not necessarily about your technique. As we start to talk about Pete Rock, Large Professor, Paul C., Dilla, um, these other producers will talk more about technique, how they used samplers to do new innovative things, right? And that's what we start to judge skills um, upon in some ways. During this time, it was what you found. Could you un un uncover this sound that was just so dope that no one had ever used? You know, could you, could you find something that no one would ever think to look for a loop on and you, and you hook it up? you know, in your own unique way um, and make a dope beat out of it. That's what it was about, you know, you know, have you found something that someone else had not used? So it was your choice in sample materials. So your choice in source material, how you chopped up the material, how you took like a, a four bar loop and broke it into eight different pieces and you replayed those in a different order um, of some sort, you know, and how you then took these records that you found, you know, maybe three different records and how you not only found you know, what you found, how you, how you chopped it up, but then how you combined everything, how you used these ingredients, you know, these various ingredients to create a tasty meal, um, a sonically tasty meal. So it was basically your creativ creativity was judged in, in the loop that you found um, and hooking it up in a different way, hooking it up is like, you find a loop on a record and then you chop it, chop it up and program it uniquely, you know, manipulate it essentially, that's hooking up, you know, hooking up a loop. Um, you know, like, that was how your status was sort of judged within the culture of, of hip hop and, the, and producers. It wasn't necessarily so technique based. So um, again, like it was what you found, how you did something unique with it and combining it with other things where, where your status was, was judged.